Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Fold 4 and today I'll show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. So to get started, uh, there is a couple things that I'm going to mention. Number one, when doing this, when you have uh, your Google account or Samsung account, anything like that logged in and your device has a screen lock like I do right now, uh, when you do this, the device will become FRP locked, so later on you will need to verify either the Google account or a Samsung account. Now, Google account can be removed, uh, can be removed probably in the future, though right now at the moment of recording this, uh, it has like one of the newer uh, patches and there isn't a way that I found so far to uh, bypass this. And when it comes down to Samsung account, that just flat out from what I remember can't be removed no matter what. So, if it's logged into Google account, hopefully later on I can make a video on how to bypass this. So, if you will need that maybe in the future, I will hopefully provide that. Uh, but at the moment of recording this, there isn't a way just yet. Now, another thing uh, is we will need a computer and a cable for this process. So, I do have one plugged in already to my computer. And we can already plug it in. Just connect it. We'll start charging. And because this is Samsung, uh, we can expect annoyances all around. Uh, why would everything be, wouldn't be easy? So uh, to to start, we will need to turn off the device. But if you ever try to turn off a device when you actually have a lock screen, you'll quickly realize that the damn device tells you to confirm your pattern. It's just an annoyance when you can hold park and volume down longer, and this will just forcibly reboot the device and give us what we need anyway. F off Samsung with this. No one cares. So, um, like I said, we're gonna hold parky and volume down because if you have a pattern that you don't know, you kind of can't turn it off the normal way. Now, another thing that I'll mention is when holding parky and volume down, I do recommend interacting with the device or display. Just like, I don't know, start drawing some random patterns. Just don't let go of the screen so it won't just turn off the backlight. The reason for that is when we see the screen, once it actually turns off, I'm just not sure why it does this, uh, once it turns off, uh, you know that the device actually turned off and not the screen itself. And we do need that because uh, at that point, once the device turns off, you want to switch from volume, uh, parking volume down to volume up. So anyway, I'm gonna do that right now. Parking volume, volume down. Like I said, I'm interacting with the div display turned off, so I'm going to switch to power key volume up. And there we go. As you can see, this will take us to the recovery mode. Now from here, we can get rid of the cable. We just need a, that cable to boot into this specific mode. Now from here, you will want to use volume keys to navigate through the visible options in order to select wipe data factory reset, confirm it with the power key and select factory data reset. This will begin wiping data. It only takes a split second as you can see, and it's already finished. They wrap complete. And reboot system now will be selected by default, so press Parky once again to initiate that reboot. This will continue the process in the background, so the device will take a little bit longer to boot back up, but once it's completed, we'll then be presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible. And as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your phone however you want. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.